What a way to start episode 9 of the $500 to $10,000 trading challenge. We can see that after filling our first entry point, Litecoin is pumping like crazy today. It's already on its way to its first take profit target, which is the range high untapped liquidity pool. This is what the account is currently looking like. If you want to get the explanation on the Litecoin trading idea, make sure to check out the previous episode or check out Wednesday's YouTube video because it gave the full trading signal and analysis there in a separate youtube video but currently over here we can see litecoin running in 22 dollars profits ethereum we shaved 50 percent as explained in the previous episode and have been adding that risk back to the position right now so currently if we check out ethereum we can see that this is our average entry point with the stop loss over here if the stop gets hit we lose 16 dollars but we already took 16 dollars in profit over here at this little red arrow at the pico bello top solana still running very very nice over here with the stop loss in profits and already massive profit shaved and the remaining of the position will be closed around 204 dollars then the final position is phantom already hit two take profit targets currently also with the stop loss in profit if this one is going to give us a bit of a sign of strength over here with a bit of a shift in structure over here on the high that i just marked out i might be adding a brand new long position of phantom as well and guys obviously we still have the op orders waiting to get hit Currently, we already have four trades running, all risk-free or even with huge profit shaved and the stop loss into profit. Now, over here, OP is about to get filled. It's pretty close to the entry point. Let's see if it can get hit or not. But for now, guys, we are moving into the weekend. And personally, I don't like to open new positions when we go into the weekend. Today, it's also a bank holiday. So very important lesson from me to you is try to enter your trades on monday after 9 a.m it's after the weekly transition period that is taking place on sunday evening and monday morning try to not enter any trades anymore after friday 12 a.m in the morning so around noon in the afternoon all right so that way you prevent yourselves from hitting a lot of losses so take that lesson from me i have learned it the hard way i took so many losses during the weekend i took so many unnecessary losses during the weekly transition period and right now i usually never ever take trades anymore but these limits over here for op i will leave uh, leave them here and see if they get hit or not because guys we can take a little bit of risk over here because we have already made so much profits let's see if Litecoin can also hit a take profit target and let's see if we can make even more profits going into the weekend Litecoin hit the first take profit target already phantom got stopped out in profit after hitting two take profit targets and also guys the first entry on op OP currently got hit but it is slightly underwater it's part of the game i hope actually the second and also the third entry might get hit as well this trade idea is still valid it's currently monday morning the first entry got hit over the weekend provided us with a slight bounce it is looking okay as you guys can see over here is the solana front run our final take profit target really so 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 close it came to the final take profit target and it's slightly front run it currently providing a pretty decent bounce so i still kind of expect solana to go over the take profit target because we are seeing a local bullish sales and liquidity sweep over here but unfortunately it didn't hit the take profit target yet if it would hit it then we are really looking at massive profits for Solana, $72 extra profits. And we have already taken massive, massive profits on the Solana trade idea two times in a row. If the third tech profit target gets hit as well, I think we gain around 40% on our trading account with one single trade without over risking, just compounding the profits along the way up. So I think this is a beautiful example. Guys, now we are still running Solana, we are still running Ethereum, we are still running Litecoin and OP, but Sui and Doge are looking very interesting for long trades that I'm looking to take soon. I just found a brand new trade setup that I will show you guys in a minute, but in the meantime, Litecoin got stopped out at break even, unfortunately. Ethereum got basically stopped out at break even as well. As you guys know, we took $16 profit, we risked $16 extra on the add on. Unfortunately, that one got stopped out as well, so basically a break even trade. The market took a pretty big dump today. Both positions on Solana are still running in massive profits and in the meantime, OP has hit all three entry orders and is currently slightly underwater unfortunately. But like I said guys, we found a brand new potential trading idea and I can tell you guys, it's a bit of a risky one. 
Because what we can see over here is that I'm trying to play the 15 minute structure potential reversal. You guys know that I love to play the one hour reversal and the four hour time frame reversal as long as we have liquidity and range confluence. Now, higher time frame rise, the confluence is beautiful on, like, on uh, INJ, as you guys can see over here, right? We took out massive sell side liquidity beneath these two lows. After we deviated above the range high, we went for the sell side liquidity. Guys, this is where the true sell side liquidity was resting, not beneath these lows over here. So important is, is that we are currently mitigating a potential valid sell side liquidity pool. Besides that, look at the respect of this quarter level. Support, 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 resistance, massive support, support over here, and then we drop beneath it. So we are not only mitigating an important sales liquidity pool, we are also potentially deviating beneath a very pivotal range level. So we have liquidity confluence and we have our beloved range confluence. Now usually I would wait for our one structural reversal over here to confirm the deviation, reclaim it and then send it higher. But since we made a lot of profits over the past few weeks, I'm willing to risk slightly more because this 15 minute structure is so clean. We put in this low, big bounce. People long, they get wrecked, okay? Then locally, bit of a bounce, fake break of structure on the five minute time frame. I cannot show you guys on the 15 minute, but on the five minute time frame, you guys can see fake break of structure, fake break of structure. The true break of structure guys was over here on the five minute time frame. So what does price do? Forms a fresh low and takes out the stop losses of the early long positions. Then we get a strong reversal and INJ is slightly stronger than the other altcoins over here. They didn't shift structure on the 15 minute time frame yet. Right now, we have a bullish 15 minute fair value gap aligning with this bullish 15 minute breaker block. And on the lower time frame, we have this sell side liquidity over here beneath this little wig. And be below that, we have this high probability bullish order block on the five minute time frame to confirm the second entry point. Now I'm risking $10 on the first entry in case it gets hit, of course, so far we are front running it, and $5 on the second entry point. This is a very risky position, guys. But like I said, we made huge profits over the past few weeks. The account is still up around 50% with $20 in unrealized profits. We are currently risking our OP trade solana the stop loss is already in profit so i think we can add slightly more risk over here with the inj long position what an insane pump over here on the inj trade but unfortunately guys i closed this trade in very small profits and afterwards it started pumping to the upside pretty pretty hard so it's quite unfortunate because yesterday we saw the same with litecoin stopping us out of break even and pumping afterwards right now I close this one in slight profits. It is decent profits still. We close it for $5.50 gain on the trading account, which is approximately 1% gain on the account. But unfortunately, seeing the price pump afterwards like this, up until I think about 20 or maybe even 25 or maybe even $30 gain, it hurts. But guys, this is part of the trading game. And important right now, when things like this happen, I know the human reaction. I know the human behavior usually to these kind of moves. People want to get in on a new trade as soon as possible. So what did I do yesterday after I saw that it started pumping after I closed it for small profits? I shut down my PC, I went for a chill with some friends and I went to bed. Now I woke up with a fresh mind. Yes, it still hurts a little bit, but right now I feel refreshed. I feel at ease and right now I can look for a brand new long position without this old position influencing my decision making for a potential new decision so over here you can indeed see that we gained five dollars and 22 cents approximately on inj right now we have solana that is running very very nice on profits and is looking very strong i might be looking to add a third long position later today on solana because it is one of the strongest altcoins out there right now. And then on the other hand, guys, OP is still in drawdown. It is slightly recovering after sweeping the local lows overnight. And I hope that it might bounce back towards entry later today, in which there is a possibility that if we do get the bounce towards entry, that I might close OP. Okay, guys, you can see something very interesting on the screen right here. We move to Wu, which is our newest partner for this current challenge. We didn't really have a partner since Bybit got banned in the Netherlands, so we switched to Maxi. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Maxi, so we got into contact with Wu. We got a beautiful partnership, and right now the challenge has officially shifted to Wu, which is where we will host the challenge. So what did I do? I closed all of the positions on Maxi. I closed OP for a $16 loss, 
I closed Solana for a very nice win and I closed the near trade that I didn't show on the video so far for a very small win as well. There's a reason I didn't share near because I kind of already knew that we were gonna switch to Woo. So I wanted to keep, keep this video short and I wanted to end up off this video with showing to you guys that we are right now switching to Woo. We ended the challenge on Maxi with $754. I had to transfer the money to Woo so I had to pay one US dollar in fee. So right now, as you can see over here at the top of the screen, the total value of the account is worth $753, guys. We realized over 50% on the starting balance, which was $500. Documenting every single trade, working with limit orders only, showing the losses, showing the wins, full transparency we reached the first milestone which was 750 dollars because of that first milestone we hosted a huge giveaway in our vip channel to the challenge participants offering a 25 percent discount on their next membership purchase and a 10 percent discount on my training course that will be launched on the 1st of may now in the next episode you guys will see the newest trade that i take on the challenge and the first trade that i take on the Woo exchange so far everything is looking very clean i've been testing the platform with my own funds as well of course and i can't wait to catch the first trades in the newest episode i guess i'll see you guys there ciao, ciao.